welcome back to the channel. I actually had a different video planned for tonight, but I just saw last minute news of more movies being pushed back and different release dates. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give a movie update video because I know it's extremely confusing. We don't know when these films are coming out. Are they coming out in the fall? Are they coming out a year from now? Where's Black Widow going? We still don't know. So here is kind of like a condensed little video that you can watch of the latest updates of what is going where. There we go. So before I get into my list, if you are new here at the channel and you love movie content, Blu-ray trips, and award season, you're going to want to hit the red subscribe down below. So earlier this week, we found out Sony pushed back their entire lineup, first with uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife and Morbius. They've been pushed back to the month of March 2021, so pretty much a year from now. But the problem is they are two weeks apart from each other. Is this a good idea? No, but they probably don't have any other choice because that's the big problem with all of these movies being delayed and backed up. You're going to have multiple big budget blockbusters, say that five times fast, movies coming out in the same weekend they're going to be competing for attention the big question is are these movies going to make as much money as we thought they were going to be as they were meant to be i don't know because they're so backed up our attention is everywhere we don't know what we want to see we're going to be torn it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting to see how this affects the future box office so that that's those two movies a quiet place Two moved to Labor Day weekend this year, September 4th. I think this was a good choice because I believe movie theaters are going to be open for the fall. I'm hoping and I'm praying. And having a four day weekend for a big movie like that, I think it's gonna do really well. Not such a good decision is Top Gun 2. That movie has been marketed as a summertime film. It was supposed to come out at the end of June, I believe. No longer. It is going to come out December 23rd, Christmas time. Bad, bad idea. I don't think that that is a great time for it to come out. You're putting a summer movie in the winter. It literally makes no sense. I don't know. I think it's going to ride the wave of nostalgia and make its money. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Another one on the move is Spongebob. It finally got the okay to move from the end of May to July 31st. However, I still think that is way too early for that movie to come out. I don't think, I don't, it's going to get pushed back again. I also think Wonder Woman 1984 is going to get pushed back. I don't believe movie theaters are going to be open that soon because let's not forget say we got the okay tomorrow to go to the movies, people are still going to be cautious. People are still going to be nervous about going into public places with a lot of people. So it's going to take a little bit of time for people to get comfortable in going out again. We have to think about this. Movie studios have to think about this when they're placing their movies. Now, the final movie that I heard was on the run again is Peter Rabbit 2 for the second time. So it was, sorry, it was supposed to come out for this Easter. Well, it got pushed back to what, August? And it got pushed back again to January, 2021. I don't believe that one has a good slot either. They should have just pushed it back to next Easter. What's wrong with that? Peter Rabbit and Easter goes hand in hand. I don't know, I'm nobody, that's my thinking. Two gigantic movies that still do not have times or monthly slots to open. Black Widow and Mulan. They're still up in the air. We don't know what they're going to do, but they have to hurry because the slots are filling up fast. Black Widow, that's that one has a solid slot because if they're smart about it, they're going to put it in early November where the Eternals is supposed to come out, like I've said numerous times, and just shift everything back by one. That's fine. The big one is Mulan because they are banking on Chinese box office. That is nowhere near close to opening. We are nowhere near close to opening. 
it's a bad it's a bad case it, it might have to go to streaming. Mulan might have to go to streaming to make some money. At least people can watch it around the world if it is on streaming. So that's what I think Disney should do with Mulan. I know it's probably going to kill them a little bit, but you, you really don't have any other option because all of your slots are filling up. Now, we have a few movies that have yet to move, and I don't know why because, like I said, Movie theaters are, I don't, I don't think are going to be open for summertime. So we still have Free Guy, Tenant, Artemis Fowl, um, Soul, Candyman, and Jungle Cruise. They still have not moved their dates, but they better get on it because slots are filling up fast. Whew, there is a lot going on. I hope that helped you guys out and simplified everything for you. Just remember... We're all in this together. We're all suffering together. I know that movies are not the most important thing in the world right now, but it is to us. And I know that. And I'm here for you to keep you updated on everything. And if you hear anything, please drop a comment and let me know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get more videos out to you soon. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.